Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to create a reusable button component. Let's name the file as app button P S R A F C E. Now you see we named the file name as app button because design system have component called button. So to remove the completes when importing the components, we add keyword app okay in front of the component name. Now let's change it to button and when you hover it you can get the type so i'm gonna copy the type and paste it in here all right yeah so this is what you have to do now you can pass props like this so it will work okay so that's the only thing you have to do but we want to do this styling therefore i'm gonna copy the code from my testing project uh, I think this will work. Let's try it. App button submit. You see how it's applied. All right, that's it. So let's add with hundred percent here. So with hundred percent. Yeah, now it's look cool, right? So this is all you have to do. So what I did in app button, so I created the style view using this button and I applied it in here. Then I added the styling. These are the props that you can use inside the button. Okay, so now what we are doing is we are extending our props with that props. So it's like class inheritance. If you are an employee and there's a general manager you can create a class called general manager and extend from employee because general manager has all the features that employees can have so same thing apply here in here we extend the button props we get all the props that are available there if you want more you can add something like this you see so here now I am getting errors because I haven't passed colors. Now it's fixed. All right. This is how it works. So yeah, try and practice. So reason we are using this kind of uh, a different app button because if we wanna change the design in later later in the project, we can change the design in here instead of going one by one and rechange it. Also, if you want to convert your custom design to material UI, you can just convert it in here. That's the importance of having a separate file for this. Always create one. It will benefit you in the middle of the project, not when you start the project. Thank you for watching. Give me a like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Have a nice day.